how to turn the brutal Xena grind into a pleasant ride, whether you are a beginner or an experienced player. Okay, you're asked it, we give it to ya. Meet the newly acquired Xena Juggernaut, XHR Hayes. Well, it's been a hard task to get this rare but powerful robot, but thanks to Geekfy's top skills, this little boy has joined our squad. But wait a bit, if you are a newcomer who doesn't understand who the hell is Hades, just feel free to explore this quick and intuitive guide on how to play Xena in 2023 and then come back to this video. So the only way to get XHR Hades was through the Hades base tournament, which lasted until May 31st. So players were fighting for the exclusive robot parts and anyone making it to the top 100 receive parts for the XHR Hades. Thousand parts are required to unlock this robot, which is frankly a lot. So yeah, do weeks of daily grind worth it? And yeah, does XHR Hades as good as it appears? Well, that's a good question. Just take a look at this masterpiece. Black and green cam tech spider on four legs and the appearance is absolutely astonishing. And so far, this is my favorite design. As I already said, you need 1000 XHR Hades parts to unlock this baby. And one thing I noticed instantly, only two abilities are available so far. EMP and Eternal Duty. No info on the other two, but I think they'll be added pretty soon. So I think Hades is a cross between Adam and Iris. He's slightly lighter and more mobile than the frankly slow Iris, but much stronger than Adam. Therefore, quantity is not the main parameter. Let's take a look at Hades' base stats. So every robot has 30 HP, 375 attack, and 376 defense. We have two robots at the star, and spawn speed is 011 units per second, and 1.38 movement speed, of course. Yeah, as you can already understand, speed is the downside of Hades. So, when leveling your robot, I'd pay special attention to this characteristic. Of course, you can sacrifice leadership to distribute more talents at speed. This second important characteristic is spawn and it is also pretty low by default, so put a bit fewer talents than in speed. And yeah, it would be completely wrong to ignore leadership. Hades is strong, but you need some units to capture towers at the start, right? So 8 units are pretty much enough for any tower, so distribute 2 or 3 times fewer talents than in speed. So only 2 abilities are available so far, but damn cool. The first one is EMP. Your robot's death inflicts a performance penalty on the opponent, and every level of rarity brings new effects. For example, common, we have movement speed penalty. For uncommon, additionally imposes a defense penalty. Rare, add an attack penalty on top of the previous two. And epic, increases all stat penalty. And yeah, we have even better. Legendary is an absolute banger. The opponent's cohort changes its direction. So upgrading the skill will increase the penalty time. So boost it up to the max, I guess. The second ability is Eternal Duty. At the end of the battle, restores some of the dead robots. Here's how the rarity works. For common, the robot will recover a maximum of 25% of the losses. For uncommon, up to 50%. Rare, we have a maximum of 75% of the losses. And epic, can recover full 100. And that's not even all. With Legendary, the cohort additionally restores a part of the robots from the enemy cohort. So, did it remind you of something? Yep, pretty similar to Hack, but maybe even better, I think. So, upgrading the Eternal Duty will increase the trigger chance, so you should level it up nicely. Yeah, it's all great, but still there is one problem. After the recent update, it's harder to acquire new abilities, so wonder what has changed? We explored all important updates in this review, so watch it. Well, imagine your hates is levels and you, well, somehow unlock both skills. How about some pro tactics? First, meta on high levels requires speed module and silent facility. 
pace is quite slow, so extra mobility is a big advantage. While in the Warp Ambush, Hades can easily kill even Ares. The third skill in this set is Eternal Duty. Like I said, Hades has a weak early game. Therefore, your main task is to develop and build up an army. Then, you will dominate the late game. So don't waste no time on cheap fights, but steadily grow more robots. Legendary EMP looks as promising as possible. So try upgrading your robots in ability to this level of rarity, because you can send even one unit to intercept the opponent's cohort and change the direction of its attack. However, due to the pace on high levels, well, you won't be able to react that fast. So this approach requires some practice. Next, more often I recommend using Eternal Duty because simply it allows you to replenish units after each battle, which means you are interested in clashes on the march. You can create a huge cohort, pump up the ability to epic rarity and restore up to 100% of losses. This will turn the tide of the battle considering how strong Hades is on his own. And finally, if you manage to upgrade Eternal Duty to the legendary level, well, killing enemy cohorts becomes the main way to increase the number of robots. So you better be aggressive. Okay, the interim verdict, Hades is a game changer designed to dominate the battleground. Well, at least until the rebalance. Basically, the robot confidently shows itself in battles against Adam and even Ares, and it seems that their characteristics are quite similar. So if you're lucky enough to have hates, you are, well, truly lucky, because it seems that the new abilities will bring even more dominance. Well, for those who were less fortunate and did not manage to win enough cards during the tournament, well, just don't despair, because when Xena Marketplace is launched, you'll be able to buy the missed parts. So, as you can understand, XHR Hades is your best option to relax and chill while playing Xena. Well, I hope you'll be able to get this fantastic robot pretty soon. And in the meantime, accumulate shards and G-Cell.